Here I am in Starbucks, drinking my hot chocolate. Might as well be drinking juice from my sippy cup. Because we're all a bunch of children if you really stop to think about it. Ruled by our emotions and what other people think. Seriously, take a moment. Listen. Reflect. You think you're all that, but you never thought of no one yet. Drowning in our pain that we hide behind facades. Everyone looking for help, but we're afraid to ask. God, why does it have to be like this? We're all so selfish, can't help no one else, pursuing our own kingdoms and dying in the process. Bathing in our millions while our souls are eaten away. Empires built upon death, lies, and decay. We make our millions from our filthy greed while we're living on regret, but I found it's impossible to put into words at what I'm trying to get. My head, it hurts. And it cries out in pain. Hashtag, I got the best life. But when our neighbors are in need and need help, we just turn and look away. Canada, a land of the free, home of the brave. But when I really look around, I just see a bunch of slaves. Slaves to our desires, consumed by our debt, rather than living below our means and actually thinking before we spend. And it's not just selfishness runs rapid like a pack of starving wolves. Instead of asking what can we give, we clench our fists and we pray on the weak and ask what can we take. Our ancestors must be turning over in their graves as they watch us, the people they gave their lives for our freedom, the ultimate act of selflessness, now given to those who completely act in selfishness. Remember that one line that says, Love your neighbor as yourself. Well, we turned it upside down and now it's love yourself. And we never give a second thought to anyone else in need. You're like, hey, that doesn't rhyme. Well, if you're looking for rhymes, then I think you missed the point. And that is we're so focused on ourselves that we forgot to look up, look out, and see everyone else. My favorite line ever is stop for the one. Because that's how we make a difference. One at a time. We overcome fear, regret, and selfishness with courage, faith, compassion. If tears were the currency of today, then the poor would be extremely rich because there are so many people crying out late into the night, wishing that someone would choose to be that beacon of hope, that angel of life, and that peaceful escape from death. Darkness has its cold, long fingers wrapped around so many souls, and we're just sleeping in our beds with the heated blankets on, ignoring the cold, pretending like it's not even there. That hardly seems fair. I once heard it said that you live in the greatest country in the world with the greatest opportunity. You hold within your hands the power to create freedom, holistic empires, and financial prosperity. And once you see into that world, you no longer simply have the ability to create this life, but the obligation to. The biggest question then I ask is, what are you going to do? Are you going to keep compromising and telling lies and then justifying while you're in the same place as you were last year? Or are you going to take a stand and make a plan and move fiercely into freedom while the cries of those who you left behind, they just complain and whine and talk about you behind your back as you slowly claim the prize of the grind. They say the dream is free, but the hustle is not included, just like new batteries with that Fisher Price toy. You bought the package, but you feel duped because you had to go out and spend more money. Just like me, I did what everybody else was doing. I went to school, I got the job, I go to college. I didn't go to college, but some of us did, and now before we even had the chance to start, we found out there was more to do. Again, batteries not included. I feel like I got my dream but no education on how to actually get there and I spent all my money but you know what's funny? I'm lacking the energy to actually even start. So you know what I did? I abandoned the plan. I won't tell you the stats but there's more educated people graduating from schools than ever before and jobs are getting fewer and fewer. That's funny, right? No wonder we're so selfish and abusive. It's because that American dream got so elusive and that one chance to actually get ahead only comes once in every blue moon. So we seize our chance and walk on anyone else who has a chance so we can simply be seen from afar as that one person who made it. But at what cost? I'm done with this system. Just like a crab in the bucket, I found my own way out. But then they threw another crab in and that person was so crabby that when I went to climb out, just like I had done before, he grabbed me and threw me back on the floor. And now I'll never get out. And to make matters worse, they took the lid off the bucket and every day I get to see the sky, but I'll never get out because there is no way out of an environment of people who are actually in it for themselves. But that's what makes you and I different. We found a way out. But first we had to become one heart, one mind, and take our time to make sure that our visions were in line. And then once we were all pulled together, we gathered and climbed one at a time. With everyone cheering us on, we were able to climb out. That last one out was pulled out. He didn't even need to do it himself. So we moved on and now we're all gone and we're singing this song like, I'm no longer a slave to fear. Courage, it's my master plan. Freedom is always worth fighting for and on this truth I'll always stand.
If you want to run fast, run alone. But if you want to go far, run together. Because together, everything is better. And now you can sleep with your arms open wide. Because anyone in need is seen. Because we refused to compromise.